Hey y'all, uh, it's your girl Empress Cheryl. So we're about to do the Freestyle Friday reading. Um, but with this reading, I'm gonna um, more so just try to give you some affirmative messages. I'll use one deck to see what needs to come out. And then following that, I'll use like this affirmation deck to give you some messages. And then the Sacred Geometry deck um, to like sum it all up, okay? So that's the intention for this reading to let you know what you need to know give you some affirmational messages and then sum it all up you know what i'm saying so you know bring it all together okay so i would like to invite my spirit guys your spirit guys and the holy spirit to come in protect us during this reading and give us clear and accurate insight one things that you need to know and things that will affirm you okay so, let's see. Okay, Bibliomancy will support you. Go to the nearest book and flip until you feel led to stop. There lies your answer. Um, so, I will allow you to do that, but since I have a book directly next to me, I'll pick it up it's a sacred geometry um oracle deck guidebook and we'll flip because y'all know y'all know how divine you know what i'm saying things be so 25 dna conscious evolution all right let me see what part i'm led to let me just start from the beginning Human DNA uses the phi ratio to form the wave that spins our genetic codes. Within the double helix of our DNA and the human energy field, we each have access to a hidden store of knowledge and wisdom called the force or holy light. Okay, like the force is strong with you, like that type of stuff. All right, let me skip some. Uh... I really don't want to skip. Unlocking this information is a primary study of many individuals today who feel that human potential and the ability to heal ourselves and the planet are encoded in this spiral matrix. We presently know of two strands and 64 genetic codons in our DNA. We are in the process of activating codes that will aid in the shift from third dimensional to fourth dimensional reality which is the course evolution is taking. We are turning on 10 additional strands of DNA, which including the present two will afford us what seems at this point unlimited possibilities. The emotions of love and compassion influence the harmonics of the heart and speed these changes to our DNA. Each time you act from your heart, Rather than from fear, you contribute to the evolution of humankind and the healing of Mother Earth. Open your heart to the reality that love is the answer. Okay, did not expect to be sitting here reading that whole entire um, book. Oh, 333 when I looked up, but or that whole page, but that's what happened. So... Open your heart to understanding that love is the answer. Open your heart to understanding that there are unlimited possibilities um, out here and that you are evolving, okay? So, let's see. Let's just get some affirmational messages for you. I am wealthy in every area of my life, okay? That may be a mantra that you need to speak up, speak on, say often, write out, okay? I am wealthy in every area of my life. What else? What else? What type of affirmational messages does collective need to hear at this time? I am living my life full out, okay? I am living my life full out. That's something that you need to know or do if you're not, okay? But understand that. Live life. And then with every season, I am growing stronger and wiser. 
with every season, I am growing stronger and wiser. Okay. I'm getting the mindset of just telling, um, just saying you need to understand who you are or understand who you are becoming. Understand who you are becoming because every season you're growing. Right now you are evolving. Um, and it's important to continue to affirm yourself, continue to understand that there is a need for you to um, move in love. Continue to understand that you are wealthy, you are abundant in everything, in all areas. I pulled this deck back up, so I'm going to um, get some more from this deck. I may not pull any more from the Sacred Geometry deck since I read a whole page. So we'll see. Spirit, what messages do you want to come out at this time? Zero, beginnings, nothingness, infinite possibilities, wholeness, inclusiveness, amplifies any number around and outcome depends on who wills it. What are you going to do with what you have, with what you have been presented? Because there are infinite possibilities for you. Well, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to take action on them? Are you going to understand um, your, ability, your ability to take action on something? I'm going to get these. Three. We have first house, Aries, Mars, self, appearances, the body, first impressions, attitude, identity, approach to life. How are you approaching life? How are you presenting yourself? This is also about like first impressions with this first house. Like how do you present yourself to the world? Who are you? Okay. What do you do? What do you enjoy with this fifth house, Leo, sun, energy, self-expression, drama, creativity, color, attention, romance, fun, and play. How do you shine? How do you um, express what it is that you like? What it is that you are involved in? You know what I'm saying? Think about that. We have 15, the devil, Capricorn, Saturn energy. Okay, this could be dealing with um, how you're working or this could be dealing with work as well because it says trapped in cycles, lack of growth, toxicity, overworking, obsession, control, abuse of power, Greedy, anything in excess could symbolize success in career due to hard work. How are you coming across is really is really what I'm getting. Are you coming across as if you are um trapped in cycles or if you as if you are um overworked, as if you are abusing your power? Um, are you coming across as um experiencing lack or showing lack um of growth? And what it is that you do. All right. Or are you expressing this big lotus energy? Okay. Which says you have come through a difficult period. You deserve all the good things. Are you are you embracing that? Are you embracing the, the steps that you've gone through? With every season, I am growing stronger and wiser. You are growing stronger and wiser. Are you understanding that? Are you believing that? Are you accepting that? Okay. Or right. do you still think you are who you were a week ago, a month ago, a year ago? You're not. You're not that. <laughs> you are much stronger. You are much wiser. Okay. You come across a lot better. You have a whole different energy about you. There's a need to understand that. There's a need to believe that. There's a need to walk in that. Okay. There's a need to live that. Okay, let me get one from this Sacred Geometry deck. Let's get just one. I'll take these two, actually. We have number 58, Icosahedron, and eight, Visica Pisces. This is... um. This is talking about your inner child as well as like your relationships that you form with others. So 58 is talking about your perspective. The icosahedron is one of five three-dimensional geometric shapes commonly called the platonic solids. 
each has equal equal angles, edges of equal length, and equal faces, and each would fit within a sphere. We call them the cosmic volumes because that was their name long before Plato's time and because they hold within their structure cosmic wisdom. The, the icosahedron has 20 equal triangular faces. These, this geometric solid represents the beginning of new consciousness and is water, liquid, and female. Choosing this card suggests that the subject of your inquiry has been on your mind for some time. You ruminate and question, but like a continuous loop moving round and round and going nowhere, you are stuck in thought patterns that offer no solution. It is time to seek a new perspective. Ask for inner guidance from the female receptive aspect of your being and allow this flow to enter your thoughts in a way that will release the old patterns and bring light and higher wisdom. You may be surprised at how easily you untangle the situation once you see it from a fresh vantage point. That's something you need to um, review. You know what I'm saying? Maybe something you need to step back from. Something you need to allow your intuition or your, you know what I'm saying, divine feminine side to like just go with the flow and embrace, okay? We have number eight here. Um, this is talking about the birth portal, okay? The number two becomes creation through the Visica Pisces. It is the interpenetration of two circles or spheres representing two holes and it becomes a birth portal. It is the birthing place where people and ideas join in mutual understanding and common ground. This card asks you to examine the interactions you have with loved ones and colleagues. Are you co-creating as a synergistic expression of shared wisdom and respect? Are you seeing eye to eye? Are you mutually speaking your truth? Then choosing the Visica Pisces confirms the wholeness of your relationships and honors the potential that comes into being as a result of respect and cooperation. If, on the other hand, the spheres of influence overlap in an off-center configuration, you will likely find yourself dissatisfied and looking elsewhere for completion. If this is the case, the question becomes whether it is possible to realign energies and bring a new sense of balance and cooperation. Take action to bring about this adjustment so that all your relationships birth into growth and greater understanding. Okay. Y'all take these messages how you need to take it. But what I'm getting overall is there's a need for you to understand like where you have grown to, who you are now. There may be also a need for you to read more for me to just, you may need to get into a period of studying um, for the first card out to talk about um, bibliomancy um, and reading. So getting messages from what you are reading, okay? So it may have something to do with just um, getting more into um, books studying, just increasing your knowledge. Um, but I'm also getting that increasing your knowledge because you have changed, because you have evolved, because you are evolving, because there, um, as you grow, as you become wiser, you're going to continue to grow and become wiser. And there may be some things that you need to um, dive into more, okay? There are infinite possibilities out here for you, okay? Understand that, trust that, embrace this big lotus energy that you are in. Y'all take care and have a jazzy day.